Hi coaches, Ron Silco here. Today I want to talk about a drill that really is great at boosting competitive spirit on your team, helps you emphasize the certain things that you want to teach based on what you develop as a criteria for scoring, uh, but that's called the 50-point game. The amount can change, of course. The criteria can change, of course, but just here are some ideas and maybe having an assistant coach track this or having a parent volunteer track this um, if, you, if you have parents sitting in the stands, as the case might be. Running a scoreboard or just tracking on a piece of paper, um, having the coach call out who gets what, and then and then the score is getting tracked. Uh, but the premise of a fifty-point game, and I heard about this in a Gene Cady coaching clinic, is <clears throat> to reward reward or take away points based on certain aspects of the game. So. And depending on your level of basketball, if you're starting at the, the very youngest level, perhaps you're even giving points for completed passes. Just, again, depending on what your emphasis is for the particular points. Uh, I do want to caution you, though, that uh, points can accumulate uh, to get you to a certain point potential so there's a winner of a game rather than going on for a long time, although you could put time limits on it as well and just play till the time limit uh, and then see where people are at. Uh, if you're going within the confines of a 50-point game, especially at the youth level, maybe you just give points for defensive stops rather than taking points away for turnovers because you may not have a lot of scores. Uh, again, depending on the point value that you give for turnovers as well. Uh, but just some thoughts are giving points for Baskets and free throws, rebounds, defensive stops, steals, or completing passes. Uh, you could take points away for turnovers, fouls, any other mistakes that you deem appropriate. You know, maybe it's a missed closeout. Maybe maybe giving up an offensive rebound is is worth a subtraction rather than giving points. But overall, depending on the structure of your game, this creates a competitive balance. Maybe you're rotating people every, after you get to a certain point value, maybe every 10 points. Maybe you're rotating people after every basket. Maybe you're doing this two on two, three on three, four on four, five on five, whatever the case might be. It gives you a lot of flexibility in how you structure this, but this will bring out the competitiveness in your kids as well. Strongly encourage you to have a consequence at the end, whether it's doing sit-ups for every point you lose by, or crunches, or burpees. Having something where the kids feel consequence, and, and maybe if the score is getting one-sided, maybe you break that up halfway through so that the, the team that's losing does their consequence halfway through rather than having 30 push-ups that they have to do at the end. Obviously up to you to judge for that, but try the 50-point game, and you'll be surprised. Depending on the criteria that you do for scoring in a 5, 10, maybe 15-minute period, you will bring out a lot of competitiveness. You get to give points or take away points on the things that you emphasize as a coach that are important to your team. But this is a great teaching tool to get kids excited about basketball. It's very, it's game-like, and they're getting, they're ramping up the competitive spirit of practice. Thank you for watching, and please leave comments below.